baptism does not save, says Archbishop John Paul Be Jean Paul Besco of Algeria. No evangelization necessary. Archbishop Jean Paul Besco has been appointed Archbishop of Algeria as of February 12, 2022. Even a faithful interpretation of the words of Pope Francis on human fraternity, he maintains that baptism is not necessary for salvation. He also makes apostolate on false ecumenism, saying that there is a truth in Islam that escapes us, and says that we have to get rid of the idea that we have to evangelize. In statements given recently after taking office, Bishop Jean Paul Vesco, ordained bishop in 2013, says how he has lived in a Muslim country where Catholic proselytism is forbidden. Speaking about the significance of his new position, he mentioned how during Pope Francis' trip to Iraq, where he met with Ayatollah Ali El Sistani, the country's highest Shiite Muslim authority. The Pope said, Very often we have to take risks to take the step of fraternity. There are critics. They say that the Pope is unconscious, that he takes measures against Catholic doctrine. These words of Pope Francis express exactly what I live and feel. We are first and foremost human brothers and sisters. He has dared to take the risk of affirming a human brotherhood beyond religious affiliations. In this way, he shows that evangelization takes place in fraternity and not in conversion. This is revolutionary. In a way, he affirms that baptism is not the condition of salvation. Comment. Here we have in Archbishop Jean Paul Desco a great interpreter and defender of the liberation and socialization theologies promoted by the current Catholic pontiff, which have created distortions that are dragging our Catholic religion to destruction. Another coward in the face of the work of evangelization. We have already commented on the false ecumenism that leads us into a religion that is not Catholic that promotes a salvation without a savior, that speaks of not proselytizing because it hurts people of other religions if we talk to them about Christ. This new current coming from the top of our church also promotes the associations with LGBT people and has been the cause of the distortion of the German church. The new Catholicism of Francis is associated with Freemasonry, the World Order, and the United Nations that established in its agenda 2030 gender equality and the elimination of all forms of intolerance and discrimination founded on religion. In other words, the Catholic Church now associates with the enemies of the Word of God. And let us remember how in September 2019, Francis exhorted us to obey the United Nations, which as a result leads us to disobey God. Archbishop Jean Paul Vesco publicly declares a heresy against baptism, which is the one that now saves us. 1 Peter 3 verse 21, and another against the words of Jesus calling us to make disciples of all nations, Matthew 28 verses 19 to 20. All of this perfectly echoes the teachings of Francis, and by this means declares to us that he is not Catholic. And we could say that denying the words of the Gospel makes a person a non-Christian. Every day we see how the Church is becoming more distorted through new leaders like Archbishop Jean Paul Vesco of Algeria. Let us pray to the Lord to preserve sound doctrine, even in the small remnant that still exists, so that we will be ready on the day of the coming of the Lord. If you like this video, please give us a like, share it on social media, and please leave your valuable comments. What do you think about this new Archbishop 
of the Catholic Church? And how do you see the role of the current leader of the Church? God bless you.